Over the past decade on this channel, I've shared with you over 1,000 videos, and this by far is the one I'm most excited to show my YouTube viewers. If you look at the bottom of the bucket, there's over 20 mice there that I caught with this trap last night. It's what I consider to be the all-time greatest mouse trap ever invented. Now I may be slightly biased, and that's because this mouse trap is one that I personally invented and have been working on for the past year. I've been testing it out. I've caught over 300 mice in the testing phase, trying to make it better and better. And I want to announce now that we finally have it ready to go to the market. This is something that you can purchase. Now the name was given by my nine-year-old son who saw this trap spinning and said, hey, that looks like the Dizzy Dunker and it's stuck. Now for the past few years, I've been trying to come up with the all-time greatest mouse trap and I had a few requirements. First of all, it has to work almost every time. When a mouse goes in there, it has to be mouse proof where they can't get out. Also, it has to be safe and easy to set. This actually resets itself so you can catch as many mice as will go in there and you don't have to worry about springs and snapping your fingers. This is completely safe around pets and kids and you can leave it long term and keep catching mice for months at a time. Also, it can be a humane live catch trap where you get them in the bottom of the bucket, take them outside and let them go or it can be a kill trap as well. So pretty much it's the perfect mouse trap that fits anyone's needs. Now coming up with a mouse trap is one thing. I made the prototype in my shop and it worked so well, but bringing it to market, that's a whole different ball game and a skill set that I don't have. So I teamed up with my friends at Rennie Traps. They're a small family business out of Florida and they started coming up with different plans. They tooled their machines and have been mass producing it. It's a small family business and they've been working nonstop to make these Dizzy Dunker mouse traps. Let me show you just how great this mouse trap is. So here's what the Dizzy Dunker mousetrap looks like when you receive it. You'll notice it comes in a very flat package and that's intentional. We worked as hard as possible to get the shipping costs low, but you will have to put it together. I'm so excited to finally hold the final product. We've gone through many different revisions, tested it out on a lot of mice, but to give you the full story of the Dizzy Dunker, I first got the inspiration from a book that was written in 1590 by Leonard Mescal. In that book, it talks about many different types of traps for catching animals that were used over 430 years ago, including several traps for catching mice and rats. And one of the traps described in the book was called the mill to take mice. When you hear the word mill, think of windmill, something that spins around. It's basically a spindle with four paddles that rotate. You place bait on the end of the paddles, the mouse walks out there, it spins, and they drop down. Now my other inspiration for this trap was the rolling log. It's one of the all-time best mouse traps ever invented. It's a trap where you place bait in the middle, the mouse walks out on the log, it spins, and they drop down. I've caught so many mice in one night with this design, but it does have a few flaws. Sometimes when it spins, mice are able to hold on and escape. So I came up with the idea of combining two of the all-time best mouse traps ever made and making the ultimate mouse trap. And here's the first prototype. I made it out of PVC pipe with skateboard bearings on the end that rotate on a spindle. Attach it to a bucket and you can start catching mice. But I had a major problem. I knew that the mice would come around on the side where it's solid here and get the bait on the edge of the paddles. So I figured the only solution was to add a cover. Here's the first cover, it's a piece of plastic. That way the mice have to enter from the end, they'll try to get the bait and it spins. I was so excited with my new trap and I immediately started testing it out with motion cameras. I was amazed how quickly I started catching the mice. It seemed so natural for the mice to go on the trap, try to get the bait, it'd spin and they drop down. It was constantly resetting itself and catching more mice. Sometimes a bunch of mice in one night. And I wasn't satisfied with this new design until I caught at least 100 mice. And I even had some pretty amazing things happen. At one point I caught a bunch of mice and I had a weasel go on it and drop down in the trap. Weasels are so cute, but one of the most vicious predators, and I can't believe I caught one with my Dizzy Dunker. So after months of testing, I was blown away with how well my mouse trap worked, and I decided to reach out to my friends at Rennie Traps to see if it's something we could bring to market. And here's what they first came up with. We have a plastic shield that folds up into a dome. We have two paddles here, ladders for the mice to enter, the bucket lid that it mounts on, I was so excited when I first received this because I couldn't believe how well it works. They click together, place the locking pieces on the ends, and now we have our paddles. They fit right on the lid. We'll just put the shields on the side here. So 
So again, I set it up on a bucket with motion cameras and started catching mice. I wasn't satisfied until I caught at least another 100 mice with it. And it's a good thing I did because clearly this trap will catch a lot of mice, but there were a few design flaws. Most importantly, sometimes the mice would enter on the side, it'd spin, they'd wedge themselves, they'd pull themselves out, they learned how to avoid it. I discovered it would catch mice about 80% of the time, so when I checked the bucket in the morning, it was full. But 80% was not good enough for me. I want to make a trap that will catch as many mice as possible. So I showed Rennie Trap the footage of the mice escaping, we talked about the problems, and came up with a solution. So here is the final, new and improved version of the Dizzy Dunker Mousetrap. With this key upgrade, it makes all the difference. Based on the trail camera footage and seeing how the mice interacted with the trap, we knew we would catch more mice if we limited the access down to one small hole right in the center. So Rennie Traps designed these ends that have tabs on the bottom that line up with holes on the plate. So you put it there and then you click it into place. That way the mice can't enter from the corners. Instead, the only way to get the bait is through the opening in the center. It flares out slightly down here to make sure it doesn't hit the spinner and we have these plates on either side. That way you can get mice going either direction. Once they go for the bait, it'll rotate and there's no way to escape. Now I may be slightly biased because I invented this trap, but I think it's the all time best mouse trap ever made. Don't take my word for it though. First we'll test it out with our pet mice, then I'll show you how well it catches wild mice in the barn. I don't want my pet mice to get hurt when they fall down, we'll give them a soft landing. But this trap fits on most five gallon buckets, locks into place, we include the ramps here. That's pretty slick. Now the mice will try to get the bait on the edge of the fins, go in there, spin, and drop down. Just like this. I recently got some new pet mice that are really cool colors. Here's a textile going in the trap. Here's another one. Now I'll try it with a smaller mouse. See the trap even works on very small mice. This one I call zebra. Look at those stripes going on there. And here's one more. Man, this trap works so well with our pet mice, but will it catch wild mice in the barn? I can't wait to show you. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens. What the trail camera footage showed me is that pretty much at every location I set this up, the mice were drawn in, it would spin, and they dropped down. Even when they tried to escape, they weren't able to, and one after another, the mice would drop down in the bucket, and another mouse would come along and follow the same path. As soon as they go in there and shift their weight, the paddles turn and they don't have a chance. It was so much fun testing it out, but after a while, the footage got pretty repetitive. Originally, I was going to put all the 100 mice caught with this trap in this video, but it was going to take over 30 minutes to show you all that footage. So I sped it up really fast, and as you can see, we caught 100 mice with it. Now, I couldn't be happier with the results, but I do have to admit there was one out of 100 that beat this trap. This was the only mouse that was able to escape. As it goes to the side, it wedges itself, and it can't get back out with the paddle, then it climbs to the other side, tries the same way. It doesn't seem to know that the hole that it came in was right in the center and it keeps looking, but it holds on and it keeps going from side to side until finally it finds the hole in the center and squeezes out. So 100 mice were caught and one got away. Now after testing this out on so many mice, I do have a few pro tips. It's really important that you add fresh bait. Every few days I put new peanut butter and you put it on the edges of the paddles. That way when the mice go in there, they shift their weight and it spins. It's also very important that this is freely spinning and seated well. It will pop out sometimes and then it won't work. So you push it in really good. Make sure it's nice and tight. Also make sure you have fresh bait leading up the ramp. That will draw the mice in and they'll try to get the bait and soon you'll start catching them. Well there it is, the Dizzy Dunker Mousetrap. Hopefully the footage in this video has convinced you to at least try it out. I'd really appreciate it if you purchase one of the mouse traps that I invented using the link down below. Not only does it help support my YouTube channel, but it also helps a small American family business. And if you do buy one, please send me a photo of the mice you catch and I may feature it in a future video. 
Now, honestly, I hate talking about money, but I do have to share some things with you. Even though I have a large YouTube channel, almost 2 million subscribers, I've really been struggling to keep it up financially. Last November, I saw the amount of money I'm getting from YouTube ads just plummet, and it's stayed low ever since. And oftentimes, I'm not breaking even on the YouTube videos I'm posting. Now, most YouTubers are now doing paid sponsorships, and I find that really annoying. Right in the middle of the video, they stop and say, this video is brought to you by, and I don't wanna do that. So far, I've turned down every paid sponsorship that's been offered to me. Everything from video games I don't play to VPNs, shaving kits, and I decided to turn all those down just because I don't use them. So I'm gonna feature this maybe at the end of every video and hopefully remind you that this is a mousetrap that really helps support my YouTube channel. Now, one of the biggest fears is copycats from China. After we posted the video on the flip and slide, we were selling so many traps and then within days, fake ones out of China were coming up on the market. They are so quick to steal ideas and they post them on Amazon. They even use my face on the advertising and the same name. So hopefully that won't happen. This name is trademarked and we're more prepared, but you really have to watch out for counterfeits. That's why buying the link down below is so important because they make it look like you're buying from me, but those dishonest companies over in China will flood the market with cheap copies that don't actually work. They're very cheap, they break easily, and they're less expensive, but they're not tested on the mice the way this trap is. So for the highest quality, the one that I recommend, please use the link and get it officially from Rennie Traps. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all my fans. And if you wanna see more videos of catching mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.